What's up YouTube, it's Mark from Kentucky, back with another video. I'm super excited to shoot this video because uh, I did something Sunday that I uh, haven't done since I was a kid, since the 80s. Uh, I actually went to a baseball card show and um, I was uh, it was south of Indianapolis. It was freaking awesome. Uh, I met up with uh, Jason, zombie collector. Um, he was an awesome guy to meet up with. I mean, it was a two and a half hour drive up there for me, but it was well worth the experience just to meet Jason. He's an awesome guy, real down to earth. Enjoyed talking to him. We had a lot of fun up there. Um, and uh, I never get to go to any card shows because all the ones run here on Saturdays. And he mentioned that they have one on Sunday every month up there. So uh, I, I, I was just awesome that he uh, invited me up to uh, go to a card show with him on a, on a Sunday. So the first card show, like I said, since I was a kid, had a great time. I'm super excited to show you what I got. Um, if you haven't checked out Jason's channel, I'm going to leave a link below. Check out Zombie Collector. Awesome guy. As you can see, I'm drinking a little bit of bourbon. Got bourbon and baseball cards going on. Maker's Mark, very affordable bourbon. It's not cheap bourbon by any by any means, um, but it's affordable and it's it's very good. But so you guys didn't come here for that. Came for the cards. Let me show you what I got. So I had a hundred dollar budget in mind when I went up there. Um, I spent 125 um, total. It would have been 155, but I sold some cards to a uh, vendor up there. It was a small show, you know, maybe 10, 12 tables, but all the vendors were very nice and ready to wheel and deal. So I will show you some of the deals that I got while I was up there. So the first guy I looked at went to his dollar box and I bought eight dollar cards from him. This Buster Posey rookie for a buck all day long, twice on a Sunday, I'll do that. Jason uh, saw that too before I arrived and said he was holding off on that card until I got there to make sure I didn't want it, which was very nice of him. But I told him, I said, if you want it, you know, go ahead and take it. And he said, no. This Josh Donaldson Topps Chrome rookie, this is pretty cool. This is a uh, 2010. I really like Donaldson. I wish the Mets would have went after him, but the Braves got him. I think he's going to re return to his MVP form. Um, Nolan Arenado, Chrome Trophy Cup card. This is cool. A buck. Great dollar finds. Chris Sale Bowman rookie for a dollar. Didn't have that rookie card, so. Went ahead and got that. Another Josh Donaldson rookie card from Bowman. I have his chrome rookie card and some sort of like refractor green one with that too. Uh, I picked up a D.D. Gregorius Gid uh, rookie card. This is update rookie card with the Diamondbacks. He's turned into a pretty solid player. Uh, over the last few seasons because he's hurt to start the season this year but for a buck I picked that one up and then I also picked up his regular one too this was just from the uh, regular 2013 cop set when he was with the Reds and last one I picked up I like this card a lot it's an Adrian Beltran rookie so that's cool I have his uh, Bowman rookie thanks to uh, Bob Lewis he sent it to me and I picked up this uh, Topps rookie card too so I'm super psyched to have that, especially for a buck. So I spent $8 with that vendor. And I didn't ask him for any deals or anything like that with, with that one. The second vendor I went to, um, after me and Bob had a long, or excuse me, uh, me and Jason had a long talk in the lobby, just catching up, talking about YouTube and baseball cards. We went back into the show and I um, went to this other vendor that had a, uh, Vintage stuff, lots of vintage. Jason was looking at a bunch of his vintage cars too. But check this out. I got this stack of cards for 80 bucks. And then I end up selling him three of my car three cards that I brought to sell for 30. So I ended up spending 50 bucks on these cards essentially. Um first one here is just awesome. I'm super excited to have this. This is the Nolan Ryan, the 71. This is one of my favorite all-time cards. Uh, he had this thing marked at 70. 
he sold it to me for 50. It's in very nice shape, you know, for a black border card. Um, very happy with that card for 50 bucks. You see them on eBay, but it's it's a whole lot easier to judge the condition when you're standing right in front of them. Um, then I bought this Thurman Munson second year card. Love this card. Just awesome looking card. I mean, the corner's a little rough on this card, but for $12.50, can't beat that. And then I also bought the Steve Garvey rookie. This one is in really nice shape as well. Um, he had this thing marked at 25. I paid $12.50 for that. So essentially I got those three cards for $75. And then he had this Dave Winfield for five bucks. Uh, he had it marked for 12. Jason was looking at this card and when he passed on it, I went ahead and snatched it up for five bucks. I'll do that you know, any day of the week for a Dave Winfield rookie. And then I also picked up a Tony Gwynn rookie. This was five bucks too. Um, it's more good at market 10, but I get, ended up getting it for five. So just an awesome deal from uh, from that vendor. I've got his business card too in my wallet. Um, I already forgot his name, but and then I sold him back. You know, uh, basically sold him an off-centered Eddie Murray rookie, a uh, Lou Whitaker rookie, and a uh, Dell Murphy rookie for thirty bucks. I originally asked for forty, and he said, "Well, that's what I would probably get out of him." And I believe him the, from the deals that he cut me on these. Um, so I let him. I should probably just said thirty-five. But uh, I let him have him for 30 so I'm super, super stoked to have that Ryan card and this Garvey. I've been looking for this Garvey on eBay quite a bit here often, pretty, pretty, pretty uh, often the last probably two weeks. Um, I mean, this condition, the Garvey in this condition, they're going for, you know, 24 25 26 bucks in that condition. So I'm super excited for both of these cards. So the next vendor I, I visited... Um, was uh, these cards here kind of not like me I usually don't buy very many auto cards but <clears throat> so I went to this next vendor and uh, bought some autograph cards these ran me 30 bucks total um, so there's a uh, Braves prospect Christian, I don't know how to explain, say his uh, last name, but these are the high tech autos. He had it for five bucks. I didn't pay that. Brennan McKay, he's from Louisville, went to University of Louisville. He's like a um, each or excuse me, a uh, Otani player. He pitches and plays first base for the Rays. They're my second favorite team, so super happy to pick up that one. <clears throat> Billy Wagner, numbered uh, 51 out of 99 from Immaculate, autograph, on card. That's freaking awesome. Uh, he had 10 bucks marked on this. I paid less than that. Like I said, this whole lot ran me 30 bucks. Super psyched to have that card. Really, uh, really awesome. Alex Verdego, Verder, <laughs> Verde, Verdego. Uh, prospect for uh, the Dodgers um, this one is uh, out of 99 green refractor auto rookie card super psyched to have that one t as well um, and then this one you know fits the Mets PC it's a triple bat Daryl strawberry auto um, this thing is numbered uh, 84 out of 199 um, just awesome awesome card so uh, at first I was kind of relunk I was kind of like oh, what I buy those auto auto cards for but now looking at them I really really like them um, super happy for to have those um, the next vendor I went to um, had these in his box um, there's my boy Willie Adamas 
That's the uh, purple card. He had it marked for five bucks. I didn't pay that. Acuna Jr. Bowman's Best had it marked for three dollars. I don't think I, paid, I don't remember if I paid that for or, or not. I don't think so because basically what I did, these cards added up to seventeen bucks, and I offered him twelve, and he took it. So that's awesome. Here's another Alex Verdego. Verder, I can't say his name. Verdego. Verdego. I don't know. Uh, 2014 Bowman Chrome, his first card. He had that marked at two bucks. Like that card a lot. Picked up a uh, Juan Soto Bowman's Best rookie card for five bucks. It was less than that because, like I was telling you, I paid twelve bucks for the for all all uh, four, five of these. And then the last one I picked up with this was this the uh, Anthony Rizzo. I'm a sucker for these Trophy Cup cards, so. This was awesome. He had it marked at 250. But I got all of those five cards, ran me 12 bucks, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Man, guys, this is a long video, but I hope you guys stick around because pretty exciting. I mean, the, the deals that I found at this card shop. So Jason was out in his car charging his phone, and I was just kind of killing time looking around. Me and Taylor thought I was done. And uh, behind me, there was a table that had mostly football cards, but I turn around, and he's got a box there. And this card, it's the first card in that box. It's our 85 Fleer Roger Clemens for five bucks. So I was like, good, dude, I've got to look through this box. So um, look through the box, got that Clemens. A Tim Range rookie in excellent shape for two bucks. Got to do that. My Dar boy Daryl Strawberry rookie for three bucks. You got to do that. I didn't pay this for these though. It's Fernando Valenzuela. He had he had it marked for five bucks. I didn't pay that. Tim Raines. He had marked for five bucks. I didn't pay that. Um, these two are in that top eighty cards of the eighties from from Beckett Magazine, which I picked up one of those too. Um, so uh, that was awesome to get those two for that set. Ryan Sandberg, 85 or 83 a Donner's rookie card, five bucks. Dude, you cannot beat that. I mean, I love these 80s rookie cards. For that kind of money, I'm gonna pick those up all day long. I don't care if I got doubles, triples, or whatever for five bucks, I'm gonna do it. Tony Gwynn for five bucks. Heck yeah. And Wade Boggs for five bucks. So total, I paid twenty-five bucks for all these cards. That's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, and I got them all for twenty-five. Um, so there was deals to be had there for sure. It was just an awesome time, awesome experience talking with Jason, hanging out with him. You know, we went to the card show afterwards, me and him and Taylor. Taylor got to pick lunch because she was bored over her mind at the car show. We had a nice lunch at Red Robin, you know, uh, good food, nice conversation. Just had an awesome time up in Indianapolis with uh, Jason Zombie Collector. So if you guys uh, haven't checked out his channel, be sure to check him out. I'm going to leave his link below. And... Um, like I said, it was just a super exciting. I had a great time. I just wanted to share this these cards with you guys. I want to thank everybody for watching. Leave comments. Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And uh, keep on collecting, guys.